Good day, everyone. Um, today I'm going to be doing a little, another special video. Um, this is the TF2 Advanced Engineer Guide, and you might be wondering why I'm doing this guide before my Promised Soldier Guide, and right after I released my Noob Starter Guide, well, my 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 TF2 Starter Guide. It's because I just frankly feel like it. So today I'm going to be re recording um, this this guide with. We're going to be testing out four different classes. This is a more advanced guide, so if you don't 100% grasp the concept of engineer yet, please go view my other video. But if you if you got a pretty good understanding of engineer, this video should suit you just fine. I'm going to be recording with a couple of subscribers. Um, thank you everyone for who will participate in the video in the future. And um, so please enjoy this video. Now we're going to talk about these three, these four classes I, I not classes, I mean set loadouts I created. First one is my default engineer loadout. This is the one I like the most. This one plays a semi-advanced engineer, like someone who will be more on the defensive but more on the front line. You want the pistol to defend yourself against long-range enemies, the jag to build your thing to make your um, to make your sentries faster, and the frontier justice just to, to deal revenge crits after that. This one, it's like it's pretty much my favorite loadout. Um, it's pretty situational. This one is like my pretty much all-around safe engineer. Um, with this, you're, you're going to be pretty okay on the battlefield. My second one, this one is for a more dug-in engineer. Dug-in as in you're playing like two fort and you're, and you're, um, and you're a hundred percent safe. Like you, you are, you have a, a safe level three dispenser, a safe level three sentry, teleports, everything. You're going to want to use the Widowmaker. Ah, it, it did, it did get buffed. Um, this, uh, you'll be able to dispatch enemies much quicker than with the shotgun. You'll have the Wrangler. If you have another engineer helping you, and once again the jag, this one, this one can can be different, but I like it just to build faster again, so that's all right. Um, this one, as I said, it's for purely defensive. So this is purely defensive. This one is like can be played offense as well. Um, now my third one, this one is if you're playing a more battlefront sentry, uh, battlefront like level three sentry. You want the shotgun to be able to dispatch enemies that come at you quick. You want the Southern Hospitality to fuck up spies and people that come at you, because, I mean, you're going to need to fuck up these people if they come up near you. And the Wrangler to, to quickly dispatch enemies that come near you once you have your level 3 sentry set up. And that's not too hard to do. It's pretty controversial, this one, but this is really good, especially if you're on attack and you want to set up a semi-safe sentry nest, and everything should go well with that. Um, if you're on attack and you want to set up a safe sentry nest, I prefer going with this build, though. It's going to be a lot safer, but it, it can deal a lot less damage. This one has the potential to deal a lot more damage, but you might be a little bit less safe. My, my fourth one is obviously a, a very different style of play. This one you use the gunsling with the mini sentries instead, and I'll be mainly I'll be mainly showing this build in the video, in the next upcoming video. You want the Frontier Justice to take the, the assists and the kills from your sentry to dispatch enemies really, really quick. You want the pistol for extra firepower and obviously the gunslinger to be able to deal those mini sentries. So, in the upcoming video, you know, right now, I'm going to show you guys how to use pretty much the gunslinger and maybe this this build. Um, actually, I'll, I'll try to visit all of them, but mostly the gunslinger because it's really, really fun to play with. So, um, I'll see you guys in a bit. Alrighty, hello everyone. I'm actually recording this segment um, about... 3-4 hours after that last part with the inventory because I had to actually record this gameplay and I organized a little event with uh, some of the friends in our Steam group and um, if you join this server, if you help me out with this video, please, uh, not please actually, I'm think I'm gonna personally thank you for helping me out with this video. Thank you very very much everyone who helped out. Um, we basically filled up, not filled up, but we, we moderately populated a small gold rush server and then we played on it and I had a chance to to, uh, to do my my TF2 engineer advanced guide so thank you again every everyone who helped out with this video uh, thank you again and uh, right now you're gonna see a pretty big fail I have a couple of mini I have a couple of, of crits packed up on my frontier justice and then I get noped out of high heaven. anyways let's talk about the TF2 engineer advanced guide um, advanced strategies so basically I'm going to talk about uh, mainly the Gunslinger strategy. You already heard everything you need to hear about other builds. Now we're going to talk about the Gunslinger, which is the second alternate, mo like alternate mode for engineers. So you want to uh, obviously like the, the the main purpose of the of the Gunslinger is to play an offensive, more frontline engineer, while um, the, like the, the assists and the crits you get 
the assists and the kills you get from your sentry will uh, will go towards mini crits. Uh, not I keep saying mini crits. Will go towards crits crits on your front from your, your frontier justice and that you'll be able to dispatch enemies on the front line really really easily. You can kill heavies in like two three hits, which I I do later on in the video. And I mean thank you again everyone who participated. I can't thank you enough. This round is actually pretty good. See with that with my crit, I just nope that soldier out of you know, the high heaven there. And you want to at least be aggressive with your sentry. Look what I'm doing there, I'm going to place it and I'll get a few shots off on a couple of enemies but I do believe it gets noped by a sword, but that's alright. And here I fail at, at killing a heavy because I was pretty sure I had one more revenge crit than that, but that's alright. Anyways, Gunslinger. Um, equip it with the Frontier Justice. It dispenses a mini sentry. It's cheap, it builds really fast, a lot faster than a normal sentry, and it packs a lot of punch. This is what people like tend to underestimate is the power that the mini sentry actually packs. Um, I believe it's it shoots twice as twice as fast as a regular sentry for half the damage. And while that not might while that might not seem impressive, it actually is. If you're if you're an enemy and you're fighting an engineer with with his mini sentry, god damn it, you're screwed. And um, and you have to know these good places to place your, your sentry. Look where I placed it there. I had a good I had a good vantage point on some enemies. And uh, once it was destroyed, I just collect the metal and I place it again. Because I said, I mean, they're cheap to make. They're pretty cool and um, and they do pack a lot of punch, especially on on enemies at close range like this. Um, st strategies for 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 having the gunslinger equip. Um, one, one really important thing that people don't tend to realize is they, they actually seem to play defensive with their with their gunslinger build. I mean, if you have a sentry on the front line, and like, you you guys take that, that region, destroy your sentry yourself. You will still gain the mini crits. Press 5 and destroy the sentry yourself. You will gain the mini crits, uh, not the mini crits, the, like the revenge crits from your sentry if, if it had any. This is a really good strategy. I mean, you, you put a, a mini sentry somewhere, it kills like one or two people, and you want to move up, destroy it yourself, you'll have those crits to defend yourself with, and you'll be able to advance on the front lines. Excellent. You just contributed to your team. Yay. Um, another thing is the Gunslinger does give you 25 more health to survive on the battlefield, but that doesn't mean you're a soldier, or you're a demo man, or you're a heavy. Please, do not suicide yourself. An inactive engineer on the battlefield can't do shit. Remember that. Um, another thing, you have to learn the sentry locations on the map, that's extremely important. Uh, I can't really teach you all the sentry locations on all the maps because there's way too many, it's, it's impossible, there'd be way too many to teach you of, but this is stuff that, that comes with, um, comes with expertise and, you know, just, just knowing the maps and playing on the maps. You play on the maps, like Dust Bowl, you know, Gold Rush, there's always these places where all the sentries are always set up, like on Gold Rush, like Attic and things like that, like these are regular places. I might do a locations video, but that would take really, really long time. That's the only reason I don't want to do it, because it required, like the amount of work required for that would be tremendous, and that's beyond my capabilities. There's so many spots on every single map, every single stage that people place their sentries, and, you know, some, some are better than others, but, you know, anyways... Um, I guess this is pretty much going to conclude my, my TF2 um, my TF2 small guide. I mean, I hope the gameplay video gave you an idea of what you have to do. That was my main goal. And just to be able to understand more what your role as a combat engineer is. Your role is not to, like a, as a soldier on the front line. Your role is a supporting role near the front lines. Remember that. Even though I do push up a few times just to create distractions. Your mini sentry is pretty much distractions or like a support things like that, people most of the time will not shoot a mini sentry first and that's a big problem because it will deal a lot of damage back to them. So if you have any comments, uh, comments, insults, whatever, I'd like to hear them and up next is gonna be my scout, my scout guide sometime soon, uh, that'll be the, the starter guide and if you like the video please 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 like it, if you're a new viewer please subscribe, I really 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 can't thank you enough. I recently broke 600 subscribers. Um, I'm on my way back to a thousand like I was before and uh, I really can't thank you guys enough. This is it really it really fills my heart with joy when I see you people subscribing to me and taking a liking to my videos. My, my videos have a lot of views and I really really enjoy helping out a lot of people so I really hope you enjoyed my engineer double date my double day the 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 starter guy yesterday and the advanced guide today so and anyways like if please give it a like if you like it I really want to hear your comments though 
uh, what you thought about this video and everything. So thank you everyone for watching, and I'll see you next time.